welcome in the analysis of national freedom struggle question paper uh, as uh, in case of every analysis video i am explaining that uh, video is already there on our youtube channel that is savarkar iis study circle you have to visit this channel you have to first solve the paper and then observe this analysis uh, so uh, we are going to discuss now how many statements are true first g v joshi was the founder member of pune sarvajanik sabha two alan hume was a leading person in the formation of indian national congress third first session of inc was attended by 72 delegates and last first session of inc was conducted at pune so let us discuss g v joshi uh, he is oftenly called as sarvajanik kaka because he was founder member of pune sarvajanik sabha and so this option is true uh, so historians are mentioning that justice ranade was in, engaged in this part but yeah uh, may be possible one of the founder member but g v joshi was the founder member of this sarvajanik sabha so first statement is true second alan hume was a leading person in formation of indian national congress this statement is also true he was retired ics officer and he decided to start this something pressure cooker mechanism safety valve theory like that theories are there so uh, second statement is also true first session of inc was attended by 72 delegates answer is true the session was conducted at mumbai uh, that is in tejpal sanskrit pakshan the session was there it was attended by 72 delegates at that time actually the host was pune sarvajanik sabha and therefore the session was planned to be there at pune but due to problem of plane they decided to shift the location and uh, it was formed in mumbai so fourth option is automatically false that first session of inc was conducted at pune so two statements are right uh sorry three statements are right uh, one statement is wrong and therefore answer is c that is three statements are correct now uh, which statement is true satyendranath bose is the first indian ics officer the first honorary president of the muslim league was sir sultan muhammad shah Muhammad uh, Muhammadan Anglo Oriental College uh, at Aligarh was established by Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan I just miss out uh, second statement to read the first Indian woman president of INC was Dr Anandi Bai Joshi so four statements are given let us discuss one by one which statement is true means only one statement is true out of this four so satyendranath tagore is name of person uh, that is the first indian ics officer so here name is not correct name is correct surname is not correct therefore first option discard first indian woman president of inc was uh, the great leader sarojini naidu and therefore this statement is also false the first honorary president of muslim league was sir sultan mohammad shah this statement is true that means we have to stop here but let us check the uh, uh, fourth statement muhammadan anglo oriental college at aligarh was established by sir sayyad ahmed khan so here name is given as khan abdul ghafar khan uh, from khudai khidmatgar that is in north west frontier region he is oftenly called as frontier gandhi because uh, he was there in the uh, frontier region of india he was there and he started a movement that is called as khudai khidmatgar so uh, these are the two statements let us start third question how many statements are true okay 
Birsa Munda was from Punjab. Birsa Munda was able to assassinate Lord Canning. Birsa Munda lost his life in the jail during trials in 1900. Birsa Munda was one of the member of Abhinav Bharat. Let us discuss. Uh, let me clarify first story. Birsa Munda was belonging to a tribal community named as Munda. Uh, today's area, we can say somewhere in Bihar and Jharkhand, the area of this tribe. But at that time, it was part of Bengal province. And so, we can consider him from Bengal province or with today's reference from Jharkhand. He was converted to Christianity for getting higher education at some German school. But later he rejected everything and then he started preaching the people that uh, actually Christian Mundas are not our enemy. Britishers are our enemy. And then he rebelled against Britishers. Finally he was arrested and then in trials, when trials uh, were going on, uh, he was a uh, martyr, he found dead during trials in 1900. So this is the reality. So uh, let us start now answering the question. Virisa Munda was from Punjab. Obviously uh, with discussion it is not. First statement is false. Virisa Munda was able to assassinate Lord Canning. So no, this is also not there. Third, Virisa Munda lost his life in jail during trials in 1900. This statement is true. Virisa Munda was one of the member of Abhinav Bharat. Now he lost his life in 1900, whereas Abhinav Bharat was established after 1905 and therefore uh, the statement is not true. So only one statement is true, option A. Now which statement is not true? Next question, but not true. Now we have to be careful. So we have to find out false statement. Vasudeva Bhagavanta Phadke was the member of Abhinav Bharat. So no. Abhinav Bharat was established in 20th century and Vasudeva Bhagavanta Phadke, the first freedom fighter, uh, he was there in uh, 19th century. He was arrested, he means Vasudeva Bhagavanta Phadke was arrested and deported to uh, Elanje. This statement is true. He was arrested, he was imprisoned, lifetime imprisonment was given and he was sent to Eden jail. The thing is that Eden, though it is part of Arabian subcontinent, it was under control of Britishers because it is a strategic point. Uh, you are aware of Eden of Gulf. We can say the point where Red Sea and uh, Gulf of Eden met. So there, uh, the place is that, that is Eden, strategically important place. Therefore, it was under control of Britishers and Britishers connected that place to Bombay Presidency at that time and therefore uh, he was sent because uh, Pune was also part of Bombay Presidency and then he was sent to uh, Edenje. C. He was an English educated person and was in the government job. Yeah, this is also true because this is the most threatening part for Britishers because what was their earlier theory? A person who is getting English education, who is reading English newspapers and a person who is having government job must be loyal to British government and therefore they decided to establish Indian National Congress. The main cause we can consider here. Aden was under control of the Bombay Presidency at that time. That also we discussed. This statement is also true. Means out of four, not true statement is only first. That is uh, Vasudev Bhagavanta Phadke was the member of Abhinav Bharat and therefore option A is our answer. No doubt, I am not saying it is right option, it is actually wrong, uh, false option, therefore it is correct. How many statements are true? Mahatma Gandhi founded an ambulance corps of around 1100 volunteers in support of the British in Anglo-Boer War of 1899-1902. Tolstoy farm is name of one ashram 
एस्टैब्लिश हुआ है महात्मा गांधी इन अफ्रीका गांधी जी नेवर एस्टैब्लिश एनी आश्रम इन प्रेजेंट बॉर्डर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र सत्यार्थ प्रकाश इज ए बुक रिटर्न बाय गांधी जी वेन ही वॉज इम्प्रीज इन साउथ अफ्रीका सो लेट इज डिस्कस हाउ मेनी स्टेटमेंट आर टू सो महात्मा गांधी फाउंडेड एन एम्ब्युलेंस कॉर्प्स ऑफ अराउंड इलेवन हंड्रेड वॉलंटियर्स दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू ओके सो इन वॉर ही वॉज हेल्पिंग ब्रिटिशर्स एट दैट टाइम एंड ही वॉज नॉन वॉयलेंट पर्सन सेकंड टॉलस्टॉय फार्म इज नेम ऑफ वन आश्रम एस्टैब्लिश बाय महात्मा गांधी इन अफ्रीका दिस इज ऑल्सो ट्रू स्टेटमेंट बींग इंडियन विथ माय नॉलेज द नेम शुड बी इंडियन नेम सो ही गिवन समथिंग फॉरेनर्स नेम देयर दैट इज टॉलस्टॉय फार्म नो डाउट टॉलस्टॉय वॉज अ व्हेरी ग्रेट पर्सन नाउ गांधी जी नेवर एस्टैब्लिश एनी आश्रम इन प्रेजेंट महाराष्ट्र so in present maharashtra's border vardha is there in present maharashtra whereas gandhi ji was having one ashram at vardha and uh, that's why uh, we have uh, that is called as sevagram ashram and that's why uh, the statement is false at that time it was not part of maharashtra state at that time it was considered as central provinces but at that time there was no state named as maharashtra bombay presidency nizam territory and central province like that names were there so uh, here answer is uh, third statement is false fourth satyarth prakash is a book that is giving ideology of arya samaj so here uh, this is not written by mahatma gandhi that was written by the great person uh, named as swami dayanand saraswati original name shankar uh, but here uh, option is wrong so two statements are right two statements are wrong uh, unfortunately options are not given but you are aware now many times you are uh, appearing for test so b is correct option because one a one b two c three and d four like that options are there so answer is two statements are true two are false ananta lakshman sixth question ananta lakshman kanhere krishna ji gopal karve and vinayak ramachandra deshpande were sentenced to death by the british government for number 1 assassination of jackson number 2 assassination of hume number 3 publishing the patriotic books and number 4 kakori incident so here the right answer is assassination of jackson uh hume was not assassinated he went peacefully to london after working for congress for years then uh publishing some patriotic book that is actually patriotic poetry uh that was punishment for elder brother of freedom fighter savarkar his name is uh, ganesh damodar savarkar or uh, he is popular as baba rao savarkar so he is the first person amongst the savarkar brother who was punished to andaman for 25 years that means lifetime imprisonment now uh, jackson was collector of nashik at that time and then he was uh, having animity towards this savarkar brothers and then step by step war was there between this uh, jackson and savarkar and finally baba rao savarkar was punished then he insulted him to very great extent tortured him and then sent to andaman therefore these three armed revolutionaries decided to take revenge jackson was called for a drama because his transfer was there from now nashik to mumbai and therefore they decided to kill their only and then he was assassinated by the three persons mentioned here so that is the right answer now seventh question home rule league movement was started in india by option a gopal ganesh agarkar option b badruddin tayyab ji option c dr ani bezant and option d g v joshi so right answer here is dr ani bezant she was a irish lady 
and from ireland she arrived in india to start this type of movement uh, practically he started her movement in madras presidency later on lokman and tilak was also said that fantastic movement is there and he also started all over india this type of movement so uh, here the right answer is uh, dr annie peasant she was irish uh, you will find that uh, her work is fantastic here for india but uh, surprisingly ireland is not getting freedom yet some part portion of ireland is under control of uk united kingdom eighth question gadar movement was led by veer savarkar lala lachpat rai lala hardayal mahatma gandhi so gadar movement was led by one of the member of abhinav bharat but he was the leader named as lala hardayal so right answer here that is lala hardayal uh this is a fantastic story actually you can go through this all incident you will get astonished that how lala uh, lala hardaya managed to do that a uh, german emperor named kaiser william ii he sent his warship that is amiden to india amiden was having various tasks out of that two important tasks were there that uh, release out of uh, savarkar brothers they were they were at andaman and other armed revolutionaries from andaman and then a uh, sent weapon to punjab so for that purpose that amiden was there going towards andaman first and then that should go towards gwadar port and then only that uh, landing of weapons was there possible and then from punjab people will start rebellion the armed rebellion and india will get freedom this is all uh, tried there but very unfortunate to say a uh, betrayal and second thing the great work by britishers at that time british soldiers navy and all uh, they were able to sink this amden uh, somewhere near uh, uh, bay of bengal only that was sink near chennai only and then uh, this was uh, we can say just so gadar movement was led by uh, lala hardaya but you can gather information about that a uh, very inspiring part ninth one which of the following book is written by veer savarkar to inspire revolution in india one biography of joseph mazzini b scientific essay c my experiment with truth and d hasya sanjeevani so answer is biography of joseph mazzini this was actually written uh, joseph mazzini was italian italy was ruled by austrian people and joseph mazzini played a vital role for freedom struggle of italy and then he wrote this book what is the most important thing the preface of this book is really important and because of that at that time the armed revolutionaries were by hearting out this preface what was written by veer savarkar so this is a book written second book scientific essay that is also written by veer savarkar but that intention is not for revolution arm revolution in india uh, my experiment with truth you are aware that this famous book is written by mahatma gandhi and if you really love mahatma gandhi then my suggestion is there read this book at least once in life and then hasya sanjeevani that is not a book actually that is a magazine uh, that was uh, started by a great uh, we can say social reformer that is vireshan lingam pantalu tenth question that is last who is the author of poverty and un british rule in india option a raja ram mohan roy option b dada bhai navroji option c pandit madan mohan malviya and option d dr baba saheb ambedkar so here right answer is dada bhai navroji 
he wrote this book and his famous theory that is uh, drain theory of wealth that is the part of this book so uh, these are the answers thanks for observing